Hi, Assalamualaikum. We meet again. Okay, for this part, we look into the calculation. Okay, but first we need to know the demand. Okay, there's two types of demand. Independent demand and also dependent demand. Independent demand means that the demand for item is uh, not uh, rely on the other item. Okay, for example, for toaster. Okay, making a toaster, making a fridge. Okay, there's not too many um, uh, assembly. Okay, compared to the dependent demand. Dependent demand is involved with the, uh, uh, lots of assembly. Okay, sub-assembly for example for automotive. Automotive is considered as dependent demand because to assemble a whole a car, we need to wait for the engine part, we need to wait for the uh, structure, for the chassis and so on. So it depends on the other item to be completed okay in the course you need to differentiate these three term okay the first one is a holding cost holding cost dalam kata lain adalah cost menyimpan menyimpan stock in which it involve with the insurance of the warehouse the uh, staff you need to hire the uh, rental of the warehouse okay sometimes if you need a warehouse with a cold room so you need to manage all the fridge and so on so it involves the holding cost and then we also have the ordering cost okay ordering cost is the cost occur when you order okay for example the when you are dealing with the um clerical part okay so you need to pay for the salary and then the order processing and also the transportation cost from the supplier okay to your company and so on is under the ordering cost and then setup cost okay setup cost is a part in which they need to change okay change or prepare the machine okay if they need to change from uh product A to product B so there's a setup time in which involved with the uh, changing of the die and mold and so on okay so it's a time uh, to prepare the machine so it involved with the labor and also the time okay let's look into holding cost okay holding cost is depends on the business okay some uh, business involved with the high holding cost and some are not okay for example in services holding cost is not as high as the uh, manufacturing of goods okay so it's uh, let's say for the holding cost okay involved with the uh, producing of goods uh, with the rent okay rent about six percent okay and then material handling cost for example you need to have the uh, fault leave okay and the uh, um, all the racking system so it will involve some cost labor cost okay security also the people were in the warehouse you need to pay for the labor cost investment cost okay uh, if sometimes you need to pay the taxes and so on okay stolen okay space and obsolete okay obsolete mean that the item sometimes you keep it too long especially in the technology type of item for chips and so on sometimes if you keep it too long it will be obsolete say they don't use the model anymore okay so it's a another risk of having lots of stock okay there are three actually model that we need to know okay need to determine when to order and how much to order okay when means that bila patut kita order sampai uh, stock kita tinggal berapa patut kita order and how much to order berapa banyak kita nak order sekali kita order okay uh, actually there's three but for this we focus on two in which the basic eoq model and also the quantity discount model okay eoq model okay to find a fix or order quantity so we need to find the q so every time we want to order we will uh, give the q value okay how many that we want to order okay so we need to consider the demand okay demand is annual demand the lead time okay and then we need uh, there's uh, no quantity discount uh, involved in this uh, model okay and it involved with the ordering and holding cost okay where is the q okay the q is the order quantity okay so order quantity here so we uh, this are the amount that we uh, order every time so these are the usage so when we use at as the time goes by it will be deplete akan berkurang okay so almost berkurang kita akan order and it will we will receive the stock and it will go up again okay so it will depends on the usage rate so it depends on the demand it depends on the holding cost it depends on the uh, ordering cost okay so this uh, q over 2 is the average 
Okay, these are the costs involved. Okay. If we hold too many, the holding cost will be go up, right? So the, if the queue is more, the holding cost will go up because we need to have a bigger warehouse. We need to hire more security, more for the driver and so on. So if we plan to order more, okay, we want, we don't want to hold more, but we want to order. If we order too frequent, okay, and it will cost a lot of cost also. Okay, cost of transportation, cost of uh, paperwork and so on. Okay, if sometimes cost of the currency exchange. So, we want to balance it out. So, not uh, too much or too many at, on hand and also not too frequent ordering. So, we need to decide what is the best option. So, we need to balance the holding cost and also we need to balance the ordering cost okay so don't worry we have the uh formula for this okay so first we need to look at the uh setup or ordering cost in which we use the s okay s is uh means that it's a setup or ordering cost so these are the formula for the s okay d over q time s and then we need to know the holding cost h okay so, H is the Q over 2 times H. And now, we need to find the Q. Okay. Setup cost, ordering cost must be balanced with the holding cost. So, we need to uh, make sure it's balanced. Okay. Not too high, not too low. So, we need to find the Q. So, actually, the Q is derived from this uh, 2, the setup cost, ordering cost. We equal with the holding cost. So, when we solve for Q, we get this formula okay so this formula is very important for the eoq model okay total annual inventory cost okay these are the uh, formula that you need to know for eoq model okay so annual holding cost plus annual ordering cost is the total cost so for cost we want to have the lowest possible okay so you need to know the q you need to find the q first and then you can calculate the total cost okay so there's lots of coverage involved if too many uh keep in the inventory okay the cost will be up and also if you order to frequent the cost also going to be up okay so let's look at this eoq example so the this uh, example is about uh shrink okay shrink factory in which they they will sell it to the hospital so they need to know the optimal number needs to order. So it means that they are making the body of the syringe, but they are ordering the needle from the supplier. So they need to know how many needle to order from their supplier. So the question is determine optimal number of order needles to order in which this is the Q that we need to find. They give us the information on the D. Okay, capital D represent the annual demand. So, 1,000 per year. And so, they know that the demand for this range is 1,000 per year. And then S is the, what? It's ordering cost. is RM10 per order. So, every time they order, they will be cost of 10 ringgit. And then H is the holding cost. So, holding cost for this needle is 50 cent per unit per year. Okay. So, it's usually it's a small amount. So, if you don't know which one is S, which one is H, you look at the amount. Usually, H is the smallest one. Uh, so, but the cost per unit. Okay, so it's very low compared to S. Okay, so first of all, you need to know the Q. Okay, so we have already the formula. We have the D, we have the S, we have the H. So, you plug in everything. So, we'll get that every time you need to order 200 units of needle with the needle supplier. This is very important to know. How much to order. Okay, once you know how much to order, then you can start planning. Okay. So, sometimes you, you get a, a decimal point. So, you need to round up. Okay, you always round up the uh, queue because it, we talk about uh, needle. Okay, so it must be in a round uh, number. If you have 199.1, you also need to round up to 200. Okay. Okay, now from the Q that we calculated, you can determine the expected number of order. Ah, okay, so we know that the demand is 1,000. So every time you need to order 
Q is 200. So how many time per year that you need to order? Okay, how many time uh, with the 1,000 unit per year demand you need to order? So in this case, demand is 1,000. So every time you need to order 200 from the needle supplier divided by 200. So you know that you will order 5 times per year. Dalam setahun, you can order 5 kali sebab every time, you will order 200. And then you can know the time expected between orders. Now, we know that you order 5 per year. Okay, but you need to know in one year how many days that the working days. Okay, for this uh, example, they give us 250 working days. Okay, this is the assumption. And then, we need to order 5 times just now. So, we know that every 50 days, we need to order. Uh, so, the first 50 days, we order 200 and then after 50 days cycle and then we call and then order, okay, uh, hi, we need another 200. Okay, and then you wait for another 50 days and then you will do the order again for 200. Okay, you cannot uh, uh, go for any amount because you have calculated 200 every time you order. Okay, okay now you want to calculate the cost of the needle. Okay. So, the formula for the total cost of inventory is this one. And we know that this one is the holding cost and this one is the ordering cost. So, we have all the information. So, now we want to calculate the total cost. Okay. So, the total cost is Q. We calculated 200. H is 50 cent. And then, we have the demand 1,000. Okay. So, we have all the uh, information, then we just uh, plug in into the formula, then we get the total of RM100. When we look at the uh, holding cost and also with this ordering cost, it's in the middle. Okay, that's the clue. Okay, so if you if you see that these two are almost the same, so it means that for the EOQ model, you are doing it correctly. So, for this case, both... Uh, the same and it costs about 100 ringgit to keep the uh, needle and also to order the needle okay per year all right the AOQ model uh, sometimes when they include the P capital P capital P is the price okay you need to include in the total cost so when they give you the price per unit so you need to include the product cost so these are the one that you did before and they didn't give us any information on the price for the needle okay so they just give us the demand for the needle so if they give us the price for the needle then you can include the pd in which the product cost p is the price per unit and d is the demand okay and uh eoq is a robust model in which if there's a change in demand if there's changes in the cost then you need to recalculate again okay now we take a look when there's a change in changes in demand okay the demand here changed to 1500 so can we simply uh, calculate the total cost? No, we need to change and recalculate the Q, new Q. Okay, for this um, uh, example, they changed to 1,500. So, we need to put 1,500 here. Okay, so the new Q going to be 244.9. Okay, so remember, we need to have the uh, round number. So, it's going to be 245 units for the Q. So now then we will calculate the total cost. Okay, now the Q have changed to 245. So we plug in into this formula. So the Q is 245. The demand have changed to 1500. The S and H are still the same. So the new total cost going to be 122 and 47 cents. So we compare to the uh, early example. Okay, when the demand is 1,000, so it change. Okay, so you cannot simply change D in the cost. You need to recalculate Q first and then recalculate the total cost. Okay, so let's look at the reorder point. So reorder point is when to order. Okay, what is the minimum stock in your storage so that you need to start ordering? Okay, you cannot leave it until zero. Uh, because we know that the supplier need time to deliver. For example, in the car, okay, we have this uh, fuel gauge. 
So we don't wait until E, then we will fill up. So usually at this area, we are advised to go to the petrol station and fill up your uh, tank. Okay. So we need to know what are the lowest uh, amount, okay, the lowest uh, quantity in your storage. Then you need to start to order. Okay, don't wait until zero. So ROP is the short form for reorder point. Okay, because there's a lead time, time to uh, deliver by the supplier. So the formula is, uh, this one be careful, like it's a little d, small d times L. L is the lead time, maybe in weeks or days. So the formula, we need to find the small d. Usually they give you the capital D. Capital D again is for the annual demand. Okay, so we need to convert to daily demand. Okay. So we need to know the number of working day in a year. Usually they will give you the question, but sometimes you need to assume if they know information on the working days. And we always use 250 days per year. In this warehouse, you have calculate, calculated your queue in which you have uh, the info on the demand, okay? S, H, and you have calculated you have 500 units, okay? These are your usage rate. So, these are your reorder point that you need to calculate, okay? So, it means that uh, when the stock in the warehouse at 300, so you need start to order. So, the lead time for the supplier to deliver is 3 days. So, what does it mean that, okay, you use the unit, okay? And then when you know that it have gone to 300, in the stock so you need to start call okay this is a very this is they give you signal okay please order now they said okay so you give a call to your supplier so you wait three days okay after three days then the supplier will send you the stock and the stock will go up again so how many supplier will bring 500 it start again so again you use the usage and then after it reach 300 you need to call and after three days the supplier will send but bear in mind you need to calculate this okay okay let's look at this rop example okay from this uh, question we know that the demand is the capital d the annual demand is 8000 ipods per year okay we know that is per year and there's a 250 working days per year and the lead time for ordering is 3 days or may take 4 days. So, we need to find 2 ROP here, okay? So, first, when we want to find ROP, we need to know the D, small d. Okay, we don't use the capital D. So, from uh, for ROP, we need to find small d. So, from the capital D, we know it's 8,000 per year and divide by number working days per year. So, 250. So, we have 32 uh, unit per day, okay? So, because we need to convert this one to this. And we know that the lead time also in days. So, it can calculate the ROP. So, make sure that the lead time is same as the uh, daily demand. So, we know that 32 okay, unit per day. And we calculate first the 3 days uh, lead time. So, we get the ROP at 96 units. So, it means that when the stock drop to 96, then you will start ordering okay so the stock will come after three days and what happened in four days lead time so if four days the rop will change okay from 96 to 128 okay 32 times four so here the rop point will be at 128 and the stock will come after three or uh, four days okay so you need to call the supplier when you know that in your inventory it's uh, 128 unit left so after four days they will send the supply okay so next we will do on the quantity discount model